Smoking hot off the presses from Owen, 20,000 counts of display goodness. The CM2100B in the cheapest spotlight. Owen, CM2100B. Keep on testing. Shout out to Oan. Thanks so much for sending CM2100B in for this review. <laughs> Oan, a name with a pretty good reputation. Uh, they've had some pretty decent test instruments in the past. The CM2100B, one of their latest incarnations in the clamp uh, genre. This is a pretty tiny clamp. Uh, too big, nothing too small. Actually, I think it's pretty well the right size for that uh, portability factor. Let's get started. Right away, we have that Oan manual. Great looking manual. By the way, this is all English. No other languages. English with some really decent pictures. And uh, they even give you that uh, scannable QR code right here. Scan that to download the Bluetooth software. Brand new Bluetooth software from Oan, and we'll take a look at that shortly. Good stuff. As well, you get a great looking case. It doesn't have the Oan logo, but nonetheless, decent, good, heavy quality uh, zipper. And look at that, they even give us a little screwdriver because it does come with a couple of batteries, which Owen thankfully gives us a screwdriver for. Hey, why not? Why not? As well, we get those test leads. They're generic per se, but they are a good size and they're fairly thick, so easy to hold in the hand. Definitely pointy. They're not gold tipped or anything, but you know, at the end of the day, hey, for PVC test leads, I've definitely seen worse. As far as size goes, you can tell it's definitely on the smaller side, that little all one comparable really to the uh, UT210E, just a tad bigger, but uh, yet it is a small clamp. We compare it to that magnormous Sanwa. This thing is an itty bitty. Fit and form wise, um, this is a really nice clamp. It has a very soft, but very palpable um, overlay here. So that boot, it's permanently attached. Nothing comes apart, but it is oh so nice. It has those uh, blue Owan colors, which we've come to love with that nice orange clamp. So all in all, really nice. Probably the only faux pas I would say is the uh, smaller rotary selector switch, a little bit on the small side, um, but it does have good authority when you're switching ranges and you do get that slightly annoying beep. But other than that, soft touch buttons. As I mentioned, 20,000 count display LCD. Ah, oh, wow, it is really, really nice to have that kind of resolution, especially on a clamp. We have a backlight as well and has a nice blue hue. Not the brightest backlight per se, but it definitely gets the job done. Overall, what can I say? Looking extremely good. And look at that, Owan did not forget safety. Underneath we have our two inputs, but black and red the way it should be. Good job, Owan. Have the digital caliber on a fully extended jaw on that Owan, and that is giving us 14.8, just under 15 millimeters fully open. So not the biggest clamp opening, but enough for most of your needs. Looking at that high res display, 5.000 is what we'd like to see, 4.9. Nine two is what we're getting. Just before we jump into continuity, yeah, I just want to point out we don't have any gauge rating on here, no AWG rating, which is kind of too bad, Owan. Uh, it's good to see what we're looking at. But anyway, that being said, lots of relief here at the end of those test probes. So I don't think these are going to go south anytime soon. So that's good to see. Alrighty, continuity, here we go. Default test leads, three, two, one. Not bad, misses about every third. Maybe not, definitely loud and latched. Let's try the Probe Masters. Probe Masters. Oh yeah, like butter, like butter. Wow, that is really loud too. 71.8 decibels, maximum output volume and continuity. Not too shabby. Quick look at diode testing. Here we go. Starting off with the red LED 
and we have a forward voltage drop it is lit the green forward voltage drop no and it is lit however how about the yellow yes it is lit and we have a forward voltage drop oh my goodness what the heck is going on besides my light going crazy try that again yep yeah. wow so okay let's go to the white it is lit no forward voltage drop and the blue same thing so wow so five out of five in terms of illumination and two out of five in terms of forward voltage drop bizarro output voltage in dial mode 3.23 volts so here we are, that good looking iMeter software from Oan. Go to the Google Play Store. In this case, it's an Android device. I've got the Oan iMeter software here, just downloading it now. Once you open it, of course, make sure you have it Bluetooth enabled for your device, whether it's a phone or a tablet. And once it's enabled, you can have a few permission requests here popping up. Just click allow and you are good to go. This shows up as BDM as your device. Once that BDM is connected, Boom, this is because that great Bluetooth controller uh, connectivity is just so darn fast. Here we are just going through the motions here. Uh, capacitance, voltage, resistance, you can see it is super fast. And of course we have that really nice graphical output display as well. You can uh, do sorts of sorting. Uh, you can save this as well to separate files. You can reload the files as well, which I'll demonstrate in just a second. Really nice graphing uh, capabilities here and very, very intuitive, very simple to use. Trust me, you won't have any problem uh, getting this up and running in no time. Here we are loading that software that we just used for those resistance measurements. And there it is. Look at that, simple as can be. Now, something you don't see too often on CLAP is that capacitance rating. This goes up to 20 millifarad, 20,000 microfarad. That is awesome got a 10 millifarad or 10,000 microfarad capacitor and let's just see how long it takes to get there but man that capacitance on a clamp is really handy dandy and there we go 9.75 millifarad thereabouts perfectly didn't take long at all awesome and speaking of awesome this also goes up to 200 mega ohm this little guy does it all here's a 0.5 ohm which a lot of meters have trouble with and let's see if this one is any different and and it looks like it is doesn't like that 0.5 of an ohm and a 100 mega ohm not an issue good stuff i like the ranges as well not only do we have our volts acdc but we have our amperage acdc up to 100 amps so lots of versatility with this little clamp as well we have our capacitance resistance diode continuity frequency duty cycle and yeah the list goes on even has a variable frequency control setting vfc as well and suffice to say ncv is really really good so even being a fair distance from that high power line we're still getting a uh, resonating or a reading rather, which is uh, really nice to see. Excellente. Checking out low DC current right now in the milliamp range. Uh, this is a power supply fan and it's putting out presently about 314 or so milliamps. And look at that, the Unity 314, 313 for the o on and 316 for the Unity. So pretty well, they are all agreeing with one another excellente word of advice especially if you're new to the world of electronics when you have a clamp meter the first thing you want to do is put it to the lowest current setting in this case i'm choosing the two amps uh range two amps dc is what we want now this one defaults to ac amps so you want to hit that select button till we get into the DC mode. Once we're in DC mode, you got a zero. Zero is important in the world of clamps. So hit that zero button, brings us down to zeros, and now we are ready to measure. Once we are in. Yeah, look at that, perfecto. Switched up meters now when I uh, brought the milliamp current down a bit, down to 250 milliamps and look at that 252 coming up for the old lg and if we swing over to the 
clamps 254 and 252 respectively so once again pretty well all in agreement the sound one coming in at 5.4 amps ac and the unity itself coming up a little bit higher at 5.6 amps and here we go with the oan 5.6 amps ac there you go Already teardown time, here we go. Here is the uh, reverse side of that Oan body. And I've got to say, the plastics here are really high quality, high quality. Um, great molding going on. No smudges or plastic runoff, anything of the kind. This is a quality, quality uh, high plastic. So very nice. Battery terminals over here, powered by two AAA batteries. There you go. Main PCB and looky, looky, looky. Starting off with those input jacks here, they are positive and negative, and we have a nice blob of solder on each. It looks to be hand soldered as well, but in there pretty well. And this big honking mass here, that's the Bluetooth module. It's utilizing the TLSR8261 chip uh, that follows the Bluetooth version 4 BLE standard. Lots of advantages over classic Bluetooth, including um, better optimization for uh, certain applications and low power consumption. It also has a much faster connect rate. So when you want to connect to your devices, bada boom, bada bing, you are in business. So this is a really good Bluetooth edition. Fortunately, that main IC is laser etched off. Can't tell what that one is. Here's a uh, oscillator. There's the contacts for the battery terminals themselves. Um, a little oopsy uh, soldering going on here that connects into the clamp itself. One thing I'm not happy with is the fact that that uh, clamp jaw trigger is uh, up against plastic. I prefer to see a, a metal uh, inlay here rather than the plastic, but, but I have seen plastic springs, so at least they've got a metal spring here, so hmm, better than nothing. Only one lonely PTC down over here. That's it. That's all in terms of input protection. Some programmable headers for factory calibration. One other unusual thing as well is we've got uh, three trimmers over here. So you might be able to do some, you know, calibration of your own if you're so inclined. There you go. All right. All got to say nice and clean. No flux residue. Nothing like that. Very nice uh, attention to detail. Good Q&A. And you know what? You can tell it's been q and Look at that. They even have our little quality control pass sticker. Already going to put it back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts of the Oan CM2100B. Oh yeah, this is a keeper. Now, you know what? Clamps come and they go, but this one I think is gonna have a lot of staying power because this clamp has a lot of versatility. Hey, that Unity 210E been around forever. This one is definitely in the same ballpark. Maybe you me. I'm gonna be testing this clamp a lot in the upcoming months, and I'm gonna put it head to head many times against the Unity and a few other clamps just to see how good it is. But man, thus far, at least in the beginning stages, I am very impressed. You've got to love that 20,000 count display, something very rare on clamp meters, let's face it. And that backlight, guess what? It always stays on. Yes, it does not turn off until you decide to turn it off. Absolutely no issues at all with the Bluetooth software. It worked right out of the box, clean, fast, super fast to actually connect. And I've got to say thus far, this is pretty good software. Not too many negative things to say about this little Owan, believe you me. I'm not that super happy with the selector switch itself. Just once again, it just feels a little bit small for some reason. Tiny bit bigger, you know, would have made a whole world of difference. And if you're only gonna have one meter and you're leaning towards a clamp as opposed to your traditional multimeter, hey, this one just might fill that bill just because it is feature packed and you're not gonna be missing that much from your standard multimeter. If this is your one only meter, you want, might want to replace those test leads down the road. Something a little more high quality would definitely be a good thing. But that being said, hey, this meter is definitely one to get. The Owan CM2100B 100 amp ACDC clamp meter gets a solid four Yay! out of five stars. Put this in your little clamp meter to do list because it is just that good. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.